here's one of the problems in the UK. So the powers that be would rather have these places, these giant shops and buildings, empty than to accept reduced rent. Because reducing the rent is accepting that these spaces no longer have value. The buildings aren't worth what they say they are. The abundance of this commercial wasteland is the result of our overinflated ego and economy. Our inability to look at anything but the all-important omniscient market. But in keeping this illusion of wealth, in playing along with this palaver of profit, we're literally watching our cities die. So on that slightly depressing note, come along as I explore the lost shops of Leeds and I promise I'll try and make it as fun as possible. Welcome back to another episode of the Death of the High Street. And this week we are in Leeds. We're visiting the city of Leeds, but to start off, I'm going to go to the White Rose Centre. Now it's a giant out of town shopping complex, which sits just a few miles from the centre of Leeds. And I've been talking about these so many times throughout this series. So I thought, oh, I've got to go visit one. I hate them. I don't like coming to these places, but we know these places, I'll show you it. This is what takes so much traffic from the high street in the centre of towns and cities, doesn't it? So they were born from the United States, from that American dream that said capitalism isn't going to die, it's going to continue growing and growing and we can create these self-serving utopias where you can fulfil all of your monetary desires without having to pay for parking. But unfortunately they didn't really work as planned and in the United States now, scattered all across the country, there are abandoned shopping malls which unfortunately couldn't survive. Now they didn't kick off as much in the United Kingdom as they did in America, we've got quite a few but nothing to the scale of America. But I visited a shopping centre in Newcastle last week that was completely abandoned. So let's go see what the White Rose Centre is like and then we'll head into Leeds. So we've got a closed M&S here, but it is saying a new one's opened. So not closed for good. Well, that one is, but there's another one. So we can go see that. Yeah, so far in here, all nice and busy. Nothing really boarded up like I thought there might be. Yeah, so just as I was saying, there's nothing that's boarded up. I've got to this bit where there's an entire row and they've just put on pictures of shops. Let me show you this. The greengrocers, fake shop, the sweet shop, fake shop. Apothecary there, that's cool. I actually needed something from an apothecary. Let's go and have a little look if it's... Uh, wait a second. It's not a real shop. What about the bookshop? I wonder if they've got Bravo 2-0 by Andy McNabb. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? The bakery, come on. Please let this be a real bakery. Do not... Oh, it's a fake bakery. Yeah, so you've got that entire row there with these shops down there. Your bakery, your bookstore, your, your apothecary. Then you've got some houses painted on there. I'm guessing that's just covering up empty shops, but wow, I was not expecting to find that. Let's see what else we've got in the White Rose Centre. Big corner unit there. To be honest, aside from that strip where there were all them um, stuck on houses, it's actually looking pretty good in here. Virgin Holidays there. Mobility scooter shop. Two E down here. So that's three travel agents I've seen so far in here, which is good to see. And yet on this ground bit, I think they've condensed it all to that one strip where there's no shops. These are my favourites though. A cat in the window. Fake green grocers. That's the way to do it. Your shops have shut down. Just stick a few fake ones on. No one will notice. No one will try to go in them. Amazing. Let's go have a look upstairs. Got a few entrances to shops to have upstairs. Primark over there. Next over there and all the food you could possibly need to sustain you. A day at the White Rose Centre. You could stay here for hours, days if possible. Right, I need a coffee though, let's get a coffee. And I think, I think I'm done in here. I've walked around, it's not as big as I thought to be fair. It's not as big as like the Trafford Centre. But yeah, I mean, it's still massive. Yeah, so there it is. You can do all your shopping, get the kids to the cinema, sorted. So there we go, that was the White Rose Centre. I actually didn't hate it as much as I thought I would have done. I think it's different when you're actually going shopping for something. That's when it becomes uh, quite an awful experience. And you're actually looking and you've actually got to search through the shops. That's no fun, but just a little wander around, I could deal with that. And it actually seems to be doing all right, apart from that strip where they have stuck on fake shops. 
with the fake doors. It reminds me, I did a video in, a, in the northeast in a, in a town full of abandoned houses. And what they'd done there was stuck on fake doors and windows. And I remember walking up to them thinking, is that real? And then seeing it was completely fake. And it's the same thing they've done there. And I give it to it, it does look a lot nicer than just a boarded up shop. I mean, it's a bit silly that they're putting on shops like the greengrocers and the bookshop and the apothecary, things that just wouldn't exist at the White Rose Centre. But yeah, that made me laugh. That was funny. Good to see. Right, now let's head into the centre of Leeds and compare it. Because obviously that seems to be doing all right there. A lot of footfall. Let's go see what the centre of Leeds looks like. See how much traffic this place is taking. No wonder people are going to the White Rose Centre. Driving into Leeds was mental. Wow, people from Leeds, let me know. Is it always that crazy? That was an absolute nightmare. And also trying to find parking as well. Took me absolutely ages. Don't know how much it'll cost as well. I've got a ticket, so we'll put on at the end how much it costs, but it's already why those places like the White Rose are more appealing. Straight off the motorway, free parking. Don't have to have that ball ache of a drive. It took me like half an hour. It's like two miles away. Right, let's get to it though. Let's go explore the center of Leeds. See what it's like. Do you shop more on the high street or online? Online. Online, yeah, yeah. Are you from Leeds as well? Just outside. Just outside. But how often would you shop in the centre of Leeds? Once every couple of months. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Same. Special occasions. Special occasions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When, when you want to just get your hands on something and actually see it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe bigger purchases. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever go to the White Rose Centre? Not really. No. I, you do? I, 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 you prefer, do you prefer going to that than the centre? Uh, for convenience, yes. Yeah, for convenience. Yeah. You got one shop to let over there. And up here, you got the big wheel. There it is, the giant wheel, covering up the lovely building behind it. So I reckon it was about in 2001 or 2002, but suddenly cities, to show they were prosperous and doing well, all started to get big wheels, big Ferris wheels. It was a sign of saying, look how well our city's doing. They started springing up everywhere. Everyone was excited for about a week and then somehow they stayed, and some places still have them. Right, so we're getting to the high street area now. So this is where I want to explore, see what it's like, oh, and here we go. Retail, partially fitted, grab and go, cafe opportunity. So if you want a partially fitted opportunity there, that's for you. Bucky's on the end there. So we've got a place here that says opportunity for restaurant with a rooftop terrace. Up for that there. And look at that. Big Clinton cards on the end that's gone. Check that out. I didn't realize Clinton cards had gone bust. Maybe they haven't, maybe it's just that branch. Let's have a Google actually. So online I found an article saying that Clinton cards is closing 38 of its shops to avoid insolvency. So yeah, that's what's happened there. Something else there offering panoramic city views. And another one to let there. This Pratisserie Valerie. This looks closed as well. If you look in there, yeah, that's shut. Lots of stuff open though. It's busy as well. So let's walk up here and walk back round and down. Now that's how you board up a shop. Just one giant board. Look at that. Decent that. And over here, really long one. All empty there. Wonder what that was. Well, I'll do that Google Earth thing where you can see what it once was. That's always fun. So you can see here that this place used to be a Hayes Travel, a Hayes Travel agent going back in time and skipping back even further before that, it was a Thomas Cook and I think that's a Leeds Building Society on the end there. And on the end here, behind all the people, which is good, lots of people are around, but what they're hiding is, yeah, boarded up shop. Again, we'll see what it once was with the Google Earth trick. So this one here was a Halifax bank. And that was in 2022, it was still open, so closed pretty recently and going all the way back to, yeah, 2008 you can go back to and it was a Halifax bank then as well. You can just tell with some buildings they were banks. Thank you again to that person that showed me that you can do that with 
spaces that are boarded up you can show what they once were with Google Earth, it's great. Something else there. One to let on the end. Bit of a broken window. Ah, closing down sale. I wonder if this shut recently. So do you shop more on the high street or online? Uh, high street still. You prefer yeah, coming? Are you from Leeds as well? Uh, no, we're from uh, Manchester. Or Manchester. Uh, so, say if you were in Manchester, would you would you prefer to go to the Trafford Centre or would you prefer to go into actually the centre of Manchester? Uh, probably the centre. Centre? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll try stuff on and then buy it online once I've tried it as well, yeah. so you know, because it might be cheaper elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to try something and see what it looks like first. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to pause this video a second to make a quick point because I got a comment the other day on a video that said all this channel is is depressing scaremongering you should be building the country up not tearing it down I'm not the one tearing the country down I'm not the reason your high streets look like that that's because of greedy landlords because of online companies that probably get away with not paying any tax but let's not just ignore the problem because really no one's talking about this issue there's a few youtubers out there that are covering it in detail but you don't see it on the mainstream news at all or if you do it'll be like this we're on the streets talking to john and sarah who own a shop john and sarah how are you doing well, yeah, it's really hard because we can't afford the rent, the rates are too high. Oh, that's terrible. Really, really sad. Now over to Hebden Bridge where locals are angry because the Christmas tree wasn't big enough. That's a true story. That happened. Do you know what I mean? But I'd say that I do my absolute utmost on this channel to strike a balance between the bleak and the beautiful. Not everything on my channel is depressing at all. I'd say the absolute opposite. My brand new series Made in Britain, which I've just started celebrating stuff that's still made here, fighting back against the death of the high street. That's the little part that I can play in it. I've already been to a fine furniture maker in Wensleydale. I've got so many more videos planned. I'm going to a rubber factory in Brighton. I'm seeing a guy who still makes rocking horses. It's gonna be so much fun, yeah. So you wanna see stuff that's not depressing? Go watch some of them. So Leeds has loads of these shopping arcades. There's, I can't remember how many there are, but we'll go into them. So this is the first one. Let's see how these are doing. One there that's closed. Oh, another one there that's closed. Pound Bakery. Pound Bakery's closed. Summit on the end there. So not too bad in there. There was a fair amount closed, but there was also a lot of stuff open. What's this across the road? And you've got another little arcade right away. This one's called the Merrion Center. So let's have a look in this one and see how this one's doing. One there to let. An alarm going off in Morrison's. I think it's normally meant to be open, but just got booted out. So yeah, there we go, booted out of the first one. So I wonder how many more we'll get booted out of. Also, the people at the White Rose, they were so sound. Another point to White Rose on what's the better place to do your shopping. I also don't know the legality of it. The person there was saying it's illegal, it's a public space, I don't know. I don't know if you are allowed to film or not, but I'm not trying to cause a fuss. I'm just trying to wander around and looking at retail spaces. No worries though, because you get kicked out of one. There's another one right here. So in this one called The Core, there's an empty one there. And then one on the end here as well that says, this store is closed or closing but it's going to oh, St John's, it's going to that other one we've just been in and then upstairs in here, not so good, you've got one there empty another one here empty another one there, yeah going all the way around all those there, empty yeah, when you've got so many arcade spaces like Leeds does have and with retail disappearing as fast as it is you're going to end up with floors like this with a, this entire floor of the arcade not the whole thing, just this floor completely empty, there's nothing on it There's another floor up, let's have a look upstairs as well Yeah, so up here there's just a gym See? Oh, wait a minute <laughs> The gym's closed We are now permanently closed so that gym space there, which you can look through, it's massive. Takes up the entire top floor of this shopping arcade. And then down here on the second floor, which is where we've just been before, 
that's completely empty. So it's really only that downstairs floor that's got anything on. That's what's happening to retail. Just outside as well, what's this here, Matalan. This store is closing on the 24th of February. So Millie's Cookies here as well. What does it say in the window of Millie's Cookies? So the landlord has re-entered. No one can take lawful entry to the premises. So someone's probably not been paying rent or rates there. Another one there on the end. Can't believe that Matalan there is closing. That's a massive store as well. What's it going to be? Another giant empty space in the centre of a town. Another couple here that are gone. Oh, Cotswold Outdoor and Snow... Yeah, yeah. So I actually know that place. I know where that's moved to. And it's like a combination of loads of different stores. You've got like your running shoes, you've got your mountain gear, you've got like your ski stuff. So they've just combined and gone, let's just all share one uh, premises. Well, let's share one shop, all have a little corner. And that's a much better way of doing it. And Summer's there on the corner. So a bit shut down at the top end, but the bottom half looks good. Another arcade there. Let's, uh, let's walk down this street first and then um, we'll go in there. I just want to make a point. So I got chatting to this fellow the other day in the pub and we were talking about the death of the high street and he made a really good point and I just hadn't thought of it really. But he was talking about how no one is going to lower the rent of premises. Everywhere's closing, so much stuff is closing. Wherever you go in the country at the moment, it's crazy, it's alarming how much stuff is just shutting down. The people who own them buildings, they're not going to lower the rent because lowering, lowering the rent on the building lowers the property value, it says. This space isn't actually worth that much. So then if you're trying to sell it or anything like that. But it just got me thinking about how much value we put on space in the United Kingdom. We say, oh, even for like a little house, it's so expensive. Space costs so much. And yet all I see when I walk around is a load of empty space. Just weird, isn't it, when you think of it like that? Costa are now doing hot milkshakes. What a load of twaddle. Right, so here we are on the main pedestrian bit. The main strip, the main high street in Leeds. All looks nice and open on here, but there is another arcade there and another one there. So let's, oh, and another one there. Bloody hell, there's a lot of arcades in this place. Let's walk up this one. Right, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, so four of the units in there, shut down. I wonder what they once were. And welcome to another arcade. So many. Let's have a little look in here, see what this is. Everything looks super busy in here and open, which is good to see. I think that might have moved somewhere. You come out of that place though and you got shop to let there and another fucking arcade. Jesus Leeds, come on, how many do you need? Right, what's down here? So do you shop more online or the high street? Online. Online. Would you rather go to the, if you were going to shop, would you rather go to the high street or somewhere like the White Rose Centre? High street. High street. I miss the high street. You miss the high street? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big to let one here. Look at that. As always, Warhammer doing well. Good to see. What is it about Warhammer? I'll tell you this, you'll see a closed down shoe zone, you'll see a closed down Debenhams, John Lewis. You'll never see a closed down Warhammer. They've got a loyal fan base, it's interactive. We can learn from Warhammer, let me tell you that. One on the end there, empty. And a few more here, I'm sorry. A few more there. So with this place, it just proves that the problem has been there for a very long time because you can go all the way back throughout the years. Back in 2016, it looked the same. All the way back to 2008, it looked like this. And how long before that was it like this? You just don't know. So yeah, that decay has been there for a while. And then down the other side as well. Look at that. Another one there. And look at this beautiful round building. 
Let's have a little look in there, the corn exchange that is. Let's have a look, hope this is doing well. Let's see, oh it looks like it's doing really well. Oh check this out. So this looks like it's filled with little independents. Loads of cool stuff, like this. Go on here, the state of that. Next to it as well. Bad apples, gone. So let's go have a look in the market, but just first, look at this. Next to the market, closed. To let, to let. I'll do the old Google Earth trick on there as well, show you what they once were. So you can see here that these two were to let in 2022, but that hair salon there was open, which is closed recently. And then going back even further, it was a hair and beauty shop. And then before that, going back to 2008, it was a game station. You can buy games online now. Another one here. And a massive one on the end here. That used to be, what was that? Or boots. Look at that. What is going to come in and take the space of that? Give me a shot. Give me a shot that can do that, can take on that massive unit. It's crazy. Another big unit on the end there. Look at that. What was that? Oh, it looks like it was a gold shop. Let's have a look in the market though. See what's going on in there. Smells really good. Ooh. Okay, this is not what we wanted to see. Oh, that's such a shame. So this whole row down here in the market, these are all down. Lots of stuff open down here though. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice and open space over here, which is really good. Lots of stuff open, that's really good to see. So much stuff. Interested in occupying a unit. So I might give them, give them an email and just see how much it is to take one of these on. There's so many empty, that is really sad to see to be fair. But it is huge, it's a huge space. Outside of the market, this entire row here, all them closed. Another arcade down there. Another one here. I can't go in them all. I cannot go in them all, but let's have a look down this one. So you got one there in the end, closed. That one there, short. This one here, short. Nice open ones though. It's a lovely building, look at that. Lovely grand building, what a perfect place to have your shop. But then coming here, you got some more. Boarded up here. Closed, closed. It is a very nice strip of shops, this though. The ones that are, are open look cool, looks nice. Nice whiskey shop, a little bit of whiskey. That one there is closed, sadly. Another one here, empty. And another one here, empty. So do you shop more on the high street or do you shop more online? So I do work in retail, All right. so I do tend to be in town more, so I tend to shop more on the high street. Ah, but nice. I think shopping online is easier. Okay, right, so, yeah, yeah. So do you work in the centre of town then as well? Yeah, yeah, I work just on Brigitte here. As you say, shopping online, the convenience, yeah. but supporting businesses, do you ever feel like I'm doing it to support the businesses as well? Yeah, sometimes. I feel like a lot of these companies already have like enough support online with stuff like that, that they don't necessarily need the shops out on the storefront anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the smaller businesses, I think it's the, sm the, the smaller independents. Yeah, 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 definitely. I am so intrigued to revisit Leeds in five years time, see what the state of retail is like then. Maybe not even five, maybe even sooner, who knows? But things are changing so, so fast. And that is the point of these videos. That really is. I'm never coming to a place with an intention of being like, oh, look how bad Leeds is, look how bad. That's not it. I'm genuinely just interested in retail and just fascinated by how quickly it is disappearing before our eyes. We are going through a seismic change of retail disappearing. And it is just so interesting to wander around and see. And to think, will it be revitalized? Will places be able to take up some of these giant units which I've looked at today. So this place here 
is that one where yeah all three have moved into one spot so you've got Cotswold Outdoors you've got Runner's Need and Snow and Rock and they've taken over one beer unit and they each have their own little section of the shop which is a good way to do it when things are so high like rates rent staff costs you might be able to train people up to do multiple brands it's a good thing that always sad to see an abandoned pub here the head row that's gone so there we go a day out in leeds exploring the high street retail and also the white road center we went there as well so what wins in terms of convenience and getting there if you're driving the white rose takes it free parking i'm yet to find out how much it cost me here so we'll find out soon but yeah super easy off the motorway you're there it doesn't cost you anything you can go around get your food you go home i'd say probably a little bit more empty than i thought there would be but still not unique oh my god nine pound ninety nine pound ninety oh white rose center you win today that's unbelievable i've only been here a few hours wow a few final notes on Leeds then. It's a brilliant city. It's a great city designed for amazing shopping. Unfortunately, we just don't need that much retail anymore. So how are we gonna revitalize that space? And as I said at the start, rents are such a factor in the death of the high street and people's reluctance to lower them rents to accept that that space just isn't worth what it once was. You can't have a huge abundance of space all over the city all over the country so many of these empty units and then still be saying it's worth a lot this how can they possibly say that we don't have enough space for housing if you used all that space for housing there would be plenty of affordable housing in this country but instead we build on the green belts springing up new builds everywhere whilst letting the cities decay simple as that really anyway thank you so much for watching as always do go over and watch my made in britain series i've got a great episode coming out hopefully next week maybe two weeks but yeah nice one bye bye